Hello in there. I'm back. Uh, over the years, playing and teaching banjo, people come up to me all the time and say, man, I sure wish I'd learned to play the banjo. I bought a banjo back in 1948 and just never learned to play it. Well, it's time. If you got a banjo, have you learned to play it? You haven't. Well, it's time to learn. So I'll tell you what. I'm going to wait while you go get your banjo. I, I'll be right here. Go get it. What you waiting on? Go get your banjo. All right? Ready? You got it? Okay, I'll wait a little bit more. Knock the dust off of it. It's behind the couch. There it is. Yeah. Now, I've waited. Hopefully. Uh, are you ready? We're going to learn to play. <laughs> Seriously, uh, you can learn. You can learn the banjo now. I'm over the next few weeks. I, I'm gonna walk you through how to get started playing the banjo, and, and it's not hard. And I always, I know I say that in my other videos. If you watched any of them, I always say this stuff's not hard. It's not hard. I promise you. So, you first of all, the banjo that we're gonna learn is five string banjo. This one's got this little short string on the side of the neck. That's her drone string. Now, back back in the back in the old days, when Gibson started making banjos, they called this an RB, which stood for regular banjo. So regular banjos have five strings. Don't let anybody fool you. So we're learning five string banjo, and, and we're going to learn a fin finger style banjo. So, or three finger style, stroke style bluegrass style banjo and that's what I want to be showing you and we may do some old-time frailing claw hammer videos in the future as well but for today we're gonna to get you started playing three finger banjo all right so here we go you're gonna need some finger picks now you don't have to have them I just seriously recommend them you're gonna need a thumb pick just a pick that'll go on your thumb it'll look like a little tooth you need that, and you're going to need finger picks. You're going to need one for pointer finger, one for your social finger, middle finger. So you're going to need finger picks. So that, your thumb pick, two finger picks. And that's all you're going to need for this hand. Hopefully you've got all five strings on your banjo still. And we're going to try to tune up, because you got to be in tune. Really, for what we're going to learn today, you don't even have to be in tune. It'll just sound better if it's in tune. So I want to do. I do want to show you how to tune up, and then I'm going to give you a couple, two, two right hand things to learn, and that's all you're going to get today because that's all you need today, because I want you to get those things down really nice and smooth before we try something else. Oh, another thing you need, and I almost forgot. You need a good, you need a good straight back chair. Don't be piled up on the couch. Don't lay back in your recliner. You need a good straight back chair. And I know that sounds like torture, but you, you, you need something you can sit up in and play. You don't want to be hunched over staring into a video screen. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to tune up first. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the notes for each string. I'll play them, and, and I'm going to show you how I tune, and then we'll that'll get you started. But you can you can buy a little tuner for your for your banjo, something like that. This is just a Planet Waves tuner. This one's kind of old, but it it's got it lights up and it tells you what note you're playing and whether or not you're in tune. And I'll use that. Or you can download an app for your phone. Whether you got an iPhone or a Blackberry or an Android phone, Windows phone, you can get a, a tuning app for your phone. And those are, and you can get them for free. And then there's some you can pay for. So what, whatever floats your boat. I mean, even if you're paying for them, you're paying a couple bucks. So it's cheap. But let's get tuned up. And so I'm just going to play you some notes. So your banjo is tuned to G. 
that's not perfect, but it's close enough, and it, it's good enough for us. So you want your first string, and the first, I count them from, from the floor to the ceiling. So first string, that's your first string. So you want to match your string to that. That's your first string, that's a D. Alright, so tune it until it sounds pretty close to that. So if it's too low, tune up to that. And then the next one's a B. That's your second string. That's a B. Just tune to that. So if it's too low, you tune up to it. Or too high, you tune down to that. And then third string. That's a G. Mine's a little too high. but That's close enough for what we're going to be doing. In future lessons, I'll make sure that I'm in really good, perfect tune. And then fourth string is D again, but lower, octave lower. That's our D. And then fifth string. Well, here's your fourth string again. A couple more times. And then the fifth string. not perfect it's close enough for what we're going to do today now put your finger picks on you don't have to have them but I really 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 recommend them they're gonna help you They'll make make your life a little simpler not at first they're a little awkward to get used to but put them on and uh, suck it up cupcake you can wear these finger picks so here we go so here's what we're going to do so the first thing i'm going to turn here a little bit so you can see what's going on jack the banjo up here uh i'm going to take my right hand and a lot of people will tell you to uh you're gonna now i like to hold the banjo here let me adjust my camera just a little bit adjustments on the fly Hold the banjo in your lap, not on your leg, not on this leg, right in the middle, right in your lap. That's where you want it. And you want to take, you can take these two fingers and you can touch the, just touch the head with them and you want to curl your other fingers. Now, I just use my pinky. I know some of you are saying, well, you're just not going to do it right. If you're just going to use your pinky, well, we're just not going to pay any attention. I just use my pinky. I started out not using any. And then somebody says, hey, you got to plant both fingers. So, and I saw Earl Scruggs, you know, and he had both fingers down. So I, I did that for a while. And then now I just use my pinky because, frankly, that's just what feels comfortable to me. And so I'm, I'm, I'm not going to, you plant what you want. You can either put your, you can plant your ring finger down. And plant it, let your pinky stand up there all proper. Or you can plant them both. Or you can plant your pinky. I don't care. Pick one, but you're going to have to plant something, really. It, it'll help you. All right. Now, what I want you to do here, here, we're going to dive right in. We're going to learn a pinch pattern or a basic rhythm. And we're going to take our thumb and we're going to hit the third string. Now, that's the one in the middle. So, third, just like that with our thumb. Not hard. So, just thumb. And then you're going to take your middle finger and your thumb, and you're going to pinch both at the same time, the top and bottom, or the first and fifth. It sounds just like that. So three, and then pinch. I do that a bunch. But you can count when you do it. One, two, three. That's your basic rhythm. Now, I'd like you to, okay, so we did it off of three, and we can do it off of four, too. Four, pitch. So, three, pitch, four, pitch, three, pitch, four, pitch. Now, I want you to do this a bunch.
Now, that's your first pattern that I want you to practice until your whole family's sick of it. Now, the next next little bit is the uh, it's an alternating thumb roll, and this one's a little more difficult, but I'm going to show you it, and this is and this will be it. This is where we're going to end this lesson. So we're going to start with the thumb on the third, index on the second, thumb up on the fifth, and middle finger on the first string. So it sounds like three, two, five, one. So there are three, two, five, one. Thumb, index, thumb, middle. Thumb, index, thumb, middle. So that's your... So that's your pattern that I want you to practice this week. I don't want you to do anything else. I want you to do that three pinch, four pinch, and then I want you to practice this roll, three, two, five, one. You get bored with that, you can do four, two, five, one. So you can go three, two, five, one, four, two, five, one. Now, when you come back next week, I want you to be able to do them both together. So here you go three, pinch, four, pinch, three, two, Notice that the pinches are slow. The roll is faster. If we count them, it goes one, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, So there you go. We're going to get you started on the banjo. See you in a few days. Get that pra practice, 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 practice. Don't try to skip ahead. Don't be out there on the YouTube looking for, what do I do next? I want you to practice that. I want you to get it good and smooth, because smooth is where it's at. So work on that, and we will see you in a few days, and I'll give you something to do with this hand. But don't even worry about this. Put it in your pocket. Yeah. We'll see you next week, or in a few days, or whenever I finally get around to it. That'll get you started. We'll see you. Be sure to subscribe.